Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. Thank you. Hi. I'm doing great. How are you? How's everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday, February or March? March 1st. March 1st, that's right. Okay, today is the first day of March and we start this evening. Well, we start our class number four. Welcome everybody. I hope you had a good day. I hope everything is fine. I hope you're doing awesome in today's class, okay? So does anybody want to say how you feel today? How do you feel? I feel great, I feel fine, I feel awesome, I feel excited, I feel tired, I feel nervous. How do you feel? Let's see. Raise your hand, put your hands up, and say, I want to participate. I feel great, I feel good. How do you feel today? Okay, Ada, Ada Bean, that's correct. Hi, teacher. Yes, uh, I feel very good today because I took my dinner a few minutes ago. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm ready for this class. You're not hungry today? Not today, not. Great. That's good. Somebody else? Somebody else who wants to express how you feel? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Miss Daisy, how do you feel? Oh, Miss Lorena, tell me. Um, I feel tired, very I tired. I feel tired. <laughs> it was a busy day. Yes. It was a stressful day. Yes. All right, thank you for sharing. Uh-huh, someone else? Miss Daisy, Miss Anna, Miss Eva, Miss Tatiana, Miss Nidia. How do you feel? I feel happy, I feel great, I feel okay, I feel fine, I feel good, I feel tired. Uh -huh. I feel good. I feel good. Great. Hi, teacher. I Hi. feel tired. I feel tired. I work hard. I work hard today. That's great. Okay. Someone else? Somebody Hi. else? Yes. Hi. Hi. Very stressful. I'm very stressful. I'm very stressed out. Okay. Uh huh. Somebody else? Too much work. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Someone else? Alguien más que quiera participar? Be welcome. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I do you feel happy. I feel happy. Yes, wonderful. Because I'm happy. Maybe you remember the song. <laughs> okay. Nice. Welcome. Yeah, I understand, Melvin. Mr. I Melvin? feel sad. You feel sad. Why? It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Mr. Melvin always has a joke. <laughs> okay. And you make me laugh. All right. Well, welcome. 
I see some of you already participated and some of you are ready for the participation today because you had a conversation to practice. But before that, yes, just want to welcome to our English class number four. And by the end of this class, we must accomplish this objective, okay? To name parts of the body, to name symptoms and how you feel when you get sick by using the structure have plus noun and feel plus adjective. I feel tired, I feel exhausted, I feel sick. I, I feel terrible probably, okay. So these are some of the objectives, but before um, going to these objectives itself, well themselves, we got to practice this conversation from yesterday. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, so the conversation teacher. says, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Well, in our country, Valentine's Day already yes, happened. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. That's nice. Oh, really? Uh huh. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Actually, it's good because I. Yo pensé que me estaba contestando la conversation. No, perdón. <laughs> estaba repasando. It's great. El microphone. <laughs> no, it's great. Actually, no, no problem. No problem. Wanna practice right now, or you wanna listen? Okay, I'm going to read one more time. It's okay. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. I'm going to go to a dance. You can say, I'm going to go to a dance. I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Yes? Somebody wants to practice? Somebody wants to participate? Or I choose two volunteers? Yes? Let's see. Okay, Miss Nidia. And Mr. Melvin, so you are a man and a lady, a gentleman and a lady. So ready? So definitely Miss Media starts because it's the ladies part. One, two, three, go. Uh, so Tyler, are you going to be anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go uh, to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, how about Valentine's Day? Thank you, you too. Thank you, that's great. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, two more volunteers, two more brave people who want to participate. Glenda, yes. And we got Cecilia, and then we got Jacqueline Campos, and Jose Garcia, and then we have, have Kenya. Oh, that's great. So Glenda and Cecilia right now. Yes, ready? Ready. Sounds like fun. Go. One, two, three, go. So, Taylor, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, 
aren't you going to like that? How about how about you? What are you the what are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Thanks, you too. Have a good Valentine's Day. Great, awesome. So the next people who raised their hands was Jacqueline and Jose. Are you ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. One. Well, definitely yes. Jacqueline started because it's just a lady, right? <laughs> so one, two, okay. three, go. So, Taylor, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend over for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite favorite restaurant oh she's going to like that how about you what are you going to do well i'm not going to go to a restaurant but i am going to go to a dance don't like fun well have a good valentine's day Thanks, you too. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Nice. Thanks, you too. All right, now we have Kenya and Eva Argueta. Are you ready? Ready. All right. One, two, three, go. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I am going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas, you her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How, how about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Song life for me. Well, how a good Valentine's Day. Thanks to do. Awesome. Sounds like fun. Sounds divertido. Sounds, suena divertido. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, next we have Jennifer and we need another volunteer to practice with Jennifer. Hmm. How about how about Melvin? Oh no, we have Tatiana. Okay, thank you, Melvin. <laughs> okay, Tatiana, are you ready, Jennifer? Yes. Okay, yes. one, two, three, go. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where, where are you going to go? Laguna. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I am going, I am not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Okay, great. Sounds like fun. Nice. Okay, is there anybody else who wants to practice? Mm -hmm. De los que no han participado, somebody else wants to practice? ¿Alguien más le gustaría? Okay, or questions. Do you have any question about the conversation? Is the conversation clear? You understood? What happens? What is Tyler going to do for Valentine's Day? 
Ajá. He's going to take his girlfriend out for dinner. That's right. He is going to take his girlfriend out for dinner. And what about Mona? What is she going to do for Valentine's Day? Going to go to a dance. She's going to go to a dance. That's right. All right. Well, I cannot ask you about Valentine's Day because we're talking about the future. And Valentine's Day, it was last month it was in february right so but that's fine okay that was a good practice any difficult word any word that you want to know the meaning well actually the vocabulary was very simple right valentine's day is a celebration they are talking about the activities to take a person out for dinner you can take somebody out for dinner you can take somebody out for lunch you can take somebody out for practice okay and go to a dance right so you're going to go to a dance you say i'm going to go to a dance we are going to go to a dance my family and i are going to go to a dance right and then the other expression sounds like fun sounds interesting sounds cool sounds fun right and have have a nice day you say have a good night so have a nice have a good valentine's day right okay that was just a practice from yesterday let me tell you that tonight we're going to study the parts of the body these are the parts of the head probably in the vocabulary that we don't know much so let me get something from here we usually have this spotlight uh-huh this is forehead repeat or forehead. Forehead. Eyebrow. Forehead. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Eyelash. 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 Nostril. Ear. 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 Okay, give me one second. I need to move something from here. Hold on. I'm going to put it right here, probably. So let me get the spotlight. Oh no. Hold on. Right here. Okay, head. Head. Hair. Hair, 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 neck, shoulder, shoulder, arm, arm, chest, chest, nipple, nipple, armpit, armpit, elbow, elbow, forearm. Forearm, forearm, arm, back, back, back. Sorry, no se distingue la pronunciación, teacher, la suya. It's it's kind of noisy, right? Sí. Um, no sé por qué lo que más repetimos. Ese, que quizás sugeriría que con el micrófono apagados. Ajá. Yes, hagamos eso. Hagámoslo con el micrófono apagado, así vamos un poquito más claro. Oh, me parece. Perfect. Sí, me parece a mí. Thank you. Bye. Voy a volverlo a hacer, don't worry. Thank okay. you, teacher. Sí, háganlo repitiendo, pero con el micrófono apagado, obviously. Ok. Forehead. I can also, pueden ir also... Uh, como señalando las partes del cuerpo en sus propios cuerpos, obviously, right? Forehead, eyebrow, 
eyebrow is like if you just remove this I mean if you have glasses tienen que removerse los glasses para que puedan ver acuérdense que en el ojo hay muchas partes ok eyebrows eyelashes espérenme que sí señalo acá es eyebrow eyelashes son esto verdad que a las mujeres nos gusta tener así como bien colochitas eyelashes eye es todo el ojo ok eye then we go with cheek es el pómulo cheek o la nosotros decimos la mejilla right cheek nostrils son los las fosas nasales, aquí se hace en Spanish, nostrils. Jaw es toda la mandíbula, jaw. Ok, chin es el mentón, chin. Lip, aquí está en singular, pero obviamente tenemos lips, right? We have lips. Upper and lower, tenemos el superior y el inferior. Ok, mouth es toda la boca. Obviously, dentro de la boca tenemos teeth, tongue, uh, palate, que es el, el paladar. Ok, nose, uh, temple, que es como esta parte de acá. I don't know how to call that in Spanish. Ear love, ear love es como esta parte más donde nos ponemos los aritos. Ok, and ear, que es toda la oreja, ear. All right. Then we have head, que es toda la cabeza, ¿verdad? Head and shoulders. <laughs> okay, head. Hair would be hair. Ear. Neck is el cuello. Okay, you say give on the neck, right? Shoulder. That shoulder. Arm. Sería todo el brazo. Arm. Okay. Chest. El pecho, armpit, son las axilas, elbow, sería el codo, ok, forearm, es toda la parte de enfrente del brazo, so it's like, let me see, this part, the internal, ok, forearm, back, es la espalda, back, a stomach, como el estómago, obviamente no, no vemos el estómago, o sea, sabemos dónde está ubicado, pero that's an internal organ, right? Ok, navel, que es como esta parte de acá. Waist, que generalmente es la cintura, solo que aquí la marcaron un poquito más abajo. Obviously, en los hombres no es tan pronunciado. Waist. Um, a small of the back es como la, par, eh, la espalda baja. Hip, las caderas. Groin, que son las ingles. Buttocks, son las pompis. Thighs, son las piernas, o sea, arriba de la rodilla. ¿verdad? Obviamente las piernas todo, pero eso sería leg. Calf, es la pantorrilla. Knee. La rodilla. No sé, vamos a mover un poquito más acá. Shen es justamente en donde tenemos la parte del, del hueso, enfrente. Shen. Ok. Heel, el talón. Arc of the foot, el, el arco. Ball of the foot, es que va como abajo donde está la parte gordita, donde a veces en... Se nos hacen los guanetes, pero no necesariamente, ¿verdad? Ok, ankle, que es el tobillo. Foot, es todo el pie. Sole, es la planta del pie. Big toe, que sería el dedito más grande, el dedo gordo. Toe nail, son las uñas de los pies. Acuérdense que tenemos nails en las manos, sería nails nada más. Pero si son de los pies, serían toe. Toenails, porque en la mano tenemos fingers, pero en los pies tenemos toes. Just like head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Esta es canción para niños, pero igual la pueden practicar y se les quedan las partes del cuerpo. And in step, que es como la parte interna del pie. Yes? Bye. Vamos a practicar, yo sé que es un poco difícil por el sound, 
pero lo vamos a hacer en grupo, so don't worry. Vamos a ver, vamos a dejar de compartir la pantalla y vamos a crear grupos. Igual yo les voy a mandar las imágenes, igual ustedes pueden tener sus partes reales y señalarlas. Por ejemplo, si le, alguien le dice hands, usted puede hacer así. Yes. Like cuando dicen talk to the hand. Right? <laughs> Or stop and you show your hand. Or fingers. Es una parte divertida de, de las, del vocabulary, de las partes del cuerpo generalmente son los nombres de los fingers. Un nombre bien funny. Generalmente dicen thumb, que es el dedo, el pulgar, thumb. Este que sería index. Después tenemos middle, ring, como the lord of the ring, donde se pone el anillo. Y el pinky, que es cuando dicen pinky promise, right? So esas partes también son divertidas. Igual tenemos palm que es la palma de la mano, en de todas las partes de la cara, obviamente, face, right, head, hair, ears, eye, eyelashes, nose, mouth, chin, cheek, neck, chest, all right. Podemos practicar, obviamente, con las que nos logramos ver en la pantalla, pero también podemos practicar con las imágenes, right, para practicar la pronunciation. Usualmente, si usted dice, ok, Point to your ear, and then you say, oh, this is my ear. Point to your nose, this is my nose. Point to your eyes, these are my eyes. Yes, Cecilia, you have a question. Sí, um, ¿cómo lo se dice? Chic. 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 Yes, chic. Como una I, chic. Un poquito larga, ¿eh? Ah, porque chic. está chic de... Chic y chic. Uh -huh. Oh, chick. <laughs> yes. Entonces, la I sí, se hace poquito, más. Sí, larga. cuando es una doble E, generalmente es una I un poco más larga. Yes. Ah, uh, thank chic. you. All right, no problem. All right, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer grupos de. Para que no nos queden tan pequeños. Six groups, al menos cuatro participantes en cada group. Ok. And I share this, the pictures with you. That's not a problem. Okay, let me just grab the pictures. Hello. Tacha, tacha los brazos que son que no son políticos. Yo siento que sí, así está bien. O podemos, este, como, o si no podemos decir las partes, nosotros uno que lo diga en español y el otro que se la responda en inglés. ¿eh? También así okay, podemos. Ok, también. Va, está bien. No sé, ¿quiénes empezamos? Yo, yo digo en español y alguien me las contesta en inglés. Alguien tendrá la imagen que la comparta. Ah. 
Ajá, también. Sí, y eso me parece decir. también. Todas las vamos a decir. Ajá. Sí, repitámoslas para Ajá. pronunciarlas o la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Ajá. Luego activamos las cámaras para irnos señalando las, las partes del cuerpo Ajá, para vernos. Para Ajá. Ok. Hi. 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 Here. 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 Ajá. Hello. 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 Temple. Temple. Nose. 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 Mount. 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 Lip. Lip. es toda la boca, ¿verdad? Mount. Sí. Mount. Lip. 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 Forehead. En la frente, ¿verdad? Forehead. Forehead. Ajá. En la frente. Air brow. Air brow. Ajá. Air lash. Air lash. Ajá. Air. Air lash. I check nostril how change her he ear ear low temple nose mouth lips thank you Okay. Eh, Continúo, entonces sí, sí. voy a tratar de señalar. Entonces ah. sería eh, forehead, eh, uh -huh. eyebrow, eyelash, eyelashes, a, eyes, uh, cheek, uh, nostril, how, cómo se escribe. This meeting is being recorded. Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, tenemos una duda. Dígame, tell me. Bueno, mi compañera la tiene. Mm -hmm. Ajá, en el caso de este nostril, así se dice. Yes, nostrils. Uh, casi igual que como Very si similar, te... very similar, yes. Uh, yo, 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 así. Es como dejar caer la yo. mandíbula del solo. Yo. Uh, yo. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y temple, temple. Temple. Es como esta ah, parte. Okay. No sé, nosotros decimos las sienes, creo. Ah, sí. Temple. Ok. Uh -huh. Temple. Uh -huh. En mi caso, esa es la natura que tenía. All right, perfect. Jennifer y Marilyn, ¿no doubts? Pero el lado, así es, es como es. ¿Qué es aquí por la oreja? Which one? Uh, la parte interna de la oreja. Ah, ear love. Ya. Estoy práctica. Ok. Ya yeah, vamos a ver la imagen del image on the self. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. All right. eh, no problem. Seguimos con el otro, compañeras. Yes. Yes. Bien. Este, si gusta, bueno, empiezo. Head, arm, nipple, chest. Y que le pregunte a la otra. ¿Vea? Yo pensé que le ponía a preguntar una a la otra. It's a hair. ¿Vea? Piensa. Sí, pueden hacer como decir, eh, Jacqueline, point to your nose. Y Jacqueline señala su nariz y dice, this is my nose. This is my nose. Ajá. Point, to you, point to your ear. This is my ear. Yes. My ear. Point to your hair. This is my hair. Yes. Point to your forehead. This is my forehead. 
Eso podría ser. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Ah, solo que yo no las miro. <risa> en el teléfono estoy. Eh, solo... Enki. Ot. Sole. Nabel. Stomach. Nipple. Chest. Ow. Hit. Higher. Chamber. Yes, el tímpano. Yes. Chamber. Uh -huh. Okay. No. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. El, la parte del, como el, que está en el pecho, me imagino que el pezón mm -hmm. se conoce como nipple. Ese es el nipple, así? sí. Nipple. Nipple. Y la tila es como armpit. Armpit. Arm, arm, porque es el brazo, entonces armpit. Armpit. Pit. Como Brad Pitt, pero armpit. <risa> Y la oreja sería como ear. 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 Oh. Yes, my ears. Long ears. Big ears. Mm -hmm. Y buttocks así o como. Buttocks. Como Sandra Buttocks. <laughs> buttocks. <laughs> yes. So, the case is bullet. Sandra bullets. <laughs> okay, did you practice? Okay. All right. Y lo de la inga, inglés como growing. 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 ¿Ya pudieron practicar todos? ¿Did you practice? Un poco, creo. A little. <laughs> ok, nice. So, so. So, so. Jorge. Eva. Eyebrow. Eyelashes. Eye. Chic. No chic. Ya, sí. Hey, hey. ¿Cómo, es, ¿cómo es cabello? ¿Cómo se pronuncia cabello? Hair. Hair. Ok, creo que sí las pasamos todas, no se nos queda una idea. Sí, eh, con una youtuber que se llama Miso. Recorded. Hello. Did you practice? Hi. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. 
The next part. La siguiente parte, obviously, de esta unidad habla de síntomas o de problemas de salud, ¿verdad? Entonces, let me just grab the presentation. I have it right here, I think. Yes. Vamos a decir, por ejemplo, si nos duele la cabeza, I have a... Uh -huh. I have a headache. Headache. Generalmente vamos a hacer como ese sonido. Como, como chicken. Like. I have a headache. Headache. Yes. Have a headache. I have a headache. I sería, oh, I have a headache. Oh, you have a headache. We have a headache. They have a headache. Pero para el caso de he, she, and it, o estoy hablando de mi mamá, mi tía, mi hermana, mi hermano, mi papá, mi esposo. So yo digo, he has a headache. Entonces, cuando yo hablé en primera persona, I, you, we, they, have. Exactly. Pero para tercera persona, he, she, it, has. Ok. En este caso, si yo voy a hablar de él, diría he has, has cold. a cold. Has. Oh, y then you go like, he has a cold. No, ahora ya no dicen he has a cold, he has COVID, dicen. <risa> <risa> todo es COVID. <risa> so, todo esto siento COVID. <risa> no. Cold es un resfriado. Yes. He has a cold. He, like, <coughs> so he has a, he has a cold. Cough. 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 Es la G y la H sounds like an F. He has a cough. cough. Yes. Yeah, cough. He has. Toss. The next one, he has. He has fever. 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 Ahí no decimos ah, solamente fever. He has fever. fever. Yes. She has sore throat. She has a sore throat. In Spanish, eso es dolor de garganta. Dolor en la garganta. O sea, generalmente viene conectado con los otros síntomas, ¿verdad? De la fever, de la cold, del cough y a consecuencia de alguna infección, algún virus, obviamente, nos duele la garganta. So she has a sore throat. She has a headache. A headache. 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 Es my headache. <laughs> oh, you're a headache. <laughs> so, un dolor de cabeza. <laughs> okay. And he has. He has stomach. a stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Hay que hablar usar como cake. Como un cake, ¿ves? Stomach cake. cake. Recuerda, si comen mucho cake. Un dolor de estómago. Stomach cake. Exactly. Stomach cake. Uh -huh. He has a. Toothache. 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 And the last one I, he has. I don't know. Earache. You never have an earache, huh? You never. Thank God. Believe me. Thank God. <laughs> and the last one he has. Cramps. Cramps. Cramps is calambre. Cuando hace mucho ejercicio o no toma suficiente agua, entonces puede ser que tenga cramps. Obviamente los cramps también pueden ser en el abdomen, ¿verdad? O los famosos cólicos también could be like cramps. Ok. So estos son algunos de los síntomas, right? One more time. Vamos a ver. 
Voy a dejar de compartir. Ahora vamos a dramatizar. ¿Ok? Uh. Toothache. Toothache. Uh, you have a toothache. Yeah. Toothache. Yes, I have a toothache. Mm. Mm. Headache. Okay. Uh, okay. He has, he has yes. a headache. She has a headache. She has a sore throat. She has a sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. De tanto usar los earphones. <laughs> earache. You have a earache. I have an earache. Yes. Oh, You have a cold. She has a cold. A cold. Yes. Okay. Uh, you have a backache. A backache. Yes, I have a backache, a real one actually. <laughs> okay, oh, my stomach. I ate too much on lunch. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. I have a stomach cake. Okay. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Do you have a stomach cake? Oh no. Do you have you fever? Have fever. Have fever. You have fever. Yes. Okay. So, cuando tenemos alguna de estas complicaciones de salud, ¿cómo nos sentimos? Eh, Muy mal. Very bad. 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 Very terrible. Bad. Very bad. Ill. Sick. Entonces, Teacher, I you? have a question. Tell me. Eh, para, ¿Se puede usar esa terminación ache para todos los dolores del cuerpo? La mayoría. La gran mayoría, pero... Hay unos que no, podría ser, I have a pain on my chest, tengo un dolor en el pecho. I have a pain on my ribs, tengo un dolor en mis costillas, I have a pain on my leg. Generalmente son los que ya están establecidos que son así, ache, earache, toothache, headache, stomachache, backache, toothache, los que ya están así. Los otros podría ser, I have a pain on, y dice la parte del cuerpo. Okay, thank y, you, lo de, yeah, y lo de los ojos, por ejemplo, cuando le arden los ojos, le duelen, o se ha lastimado, tiene una conjuntivitis, dice, I have sore eyes, como el sore so, throat, porque es más como ardor. Uh, sore vendría siendo como ardor. Uh -huh. Sore. Y cuando usted se ha lastimado, por ejemplo, que se cayó, se raspó las rodillas, podría ser, I hurt. Hurt, H -U -R -T. I hurt my knee. I hurt. O cuando se corta, por ejemplo, que está cocinando y se corta en el cuchillo, literalmente, I cut. I cut my finger. I cut my arm. Es una cortada. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Entonces, estábamos hablando de cómo nos sentimos. Terrible, bad, miserable, sick. Horrible. Todos esos adjetivos vamos a usarlos con I feel. Yes. I feel terrible. I feel sick. I feel bad. I feel horrible. I feel miserable. I don't feel good. Podría ser también usándolo de forma negativa. Pero en este slide, déjenme ver. Creo que este sí tenemos que editar un poco. Así que yo. Uh, wait a second. Solo déjenme. I just want to check something. Yes, aquí tendría que ser. Hold on. One minute. Here we go. Tendremos que hacerlo desde la PowerPoint. So let me just move the. Yes, here. Okay. Oh, I think it's shapes, and we're going to get the arrow. Okay, veamos. El primer, la primera figurita. 
¿Qué sería? She has a headache. 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 She has a Los que ya han tenido un ear ray saben que cómo se siente, es horrible. Ah, como un dolor de oídos. Este. Que le va a explotar el oído, literalmente. Ajá. So he has an ear ache. Ear yes. ear ese es de los peores dolores, believe me. Hay gente que compara eso con los de dar a luz. O sea, ahí las, las mamás hablan eso. They say that's the worst, the worst, the worst pain ever. Ok. So... Veamos. El segundo, ¿cuál sería? He has a cold. He has a cold. Give me one second. I just had an accident. <laughs> okay, he has a cold. Well, hold on. Insert. Got the shape right here. He has a cold. Uh-huh. Next one. Backache. He has a backache. He has a backache. 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 Yes, definitely. He has a backache. Uh huh. The next one. She has a toothache. A toothache. 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 Yes, she has a toothache. All right. That's one. Yes, he has a stomach ache. He has a stomach ache. Stomach ache. All right. He has a stomach ache. And the last one? She has a headache. She has a headache. She has a headache. All right. Headache. Okay. Nice. This would be. All right. Okay, one second. Let me just stop sharing the screen. Give me one second, please. Okay. Now, I just have one little assignment for you on the chat. Van a imaginar que tienen algún dificultad y van a escribir. I feel bad, for example. I have a toothache or I feel terrible I have a headache ok cualquier cosa lo que más comúnmente les da vaya si no les da nada pues use your imagination verdad <laughs> when I have a, a stomachache I feel terrible cualquier cosa ok pero tienen que escribir I have la enfermedad o el síntoma o, o la dificultad Física y cómo se sienten. I have the sickness and I feel. Exactly, like Melvin. He already wrote on the on the chat. It says, I feel sick. I have a back pain or I have a backache. Podría ser. I feel sad. I have a fever. Por acá alguien más escribió. Okay, good. What else? Otro ejemplo podría ser. Ahí ya tenemos dos. Very good. Uh -huh. What else? What else? I feel bad. I have a cold. I feel sick. Uh -huh. I have a toothache. Uh -huh. I have a headache. I feel too bad. I have a headache. I feel terrible. I feel sick. I don't feel well. Mm -hmm. I feel bad. I have a, a pain on my foot, probably. Mm -hmm. I don't feel well. I have a pain on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I have sore eyes. I feel terrible, I feel bad, I have a cold, I feel 
Not so good. <laughs> ok. Ajá. ¿Qué otros ejemplos podrían ser? Right now, ¿a alguien le pasa algo? Is there anything wrong? I have a pain in my ears from wearing the mask. I feel terrible. It happens to me, but with the earphones. When I teach all day online classes, I feel terrible because I have an earache. Me ha pasado durante estos los últimos dos años, creo. <laughs> so, I usually get an earache, but not today. Thank God. Okay. I have the flu. Mm -hmm. I have a terrible cold. ¿Hay alguien sick? De verdad, alguien que tenga alguna dificultad de salud en este momento. Somebody feels bad. Real. Or no, uh, thank God. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Es lo mismo, es una cold que flu. Mm, de hecho, el cold es un poco más leve. The flu ya requiere más, más cuidado, creo yo, porque ya tenemos más síntomas. O las, las complicaciones de salud son más graves. Ya tenemos sore throat, headache, fever. El cold, digamos que es un poquito más pasajero. Como que el cold se le puede entender yo como que fuera como alergia. Pues una alergia o sea, podría ser un resfriado porque me mojé, uh -huh. porque soy alérgico a algo, uh -huh. me tomo an antihistamine y ya me pasó. Pero el, el cold uh -huh. ya, ya más serio. Flu. Ah, sí, el flu, no, perdón, ya es un poquito más serio. El flu es más fuerte. ¿no? Uh -huh. Ya me, me, me acuesta. <ríe> I go to my bed. <ríe> I need a doctor. <ríe> ok. I have a backache. I don't feel good. Uh -huh. I have a cold. I have sore eyes. I feel terrible. I have a headache. But ese example, Jacqueline, está muy bien. Lo único que yo le corregiría, corrí. Correct, I would correct, es que el I, el pronombre I, cuando se refieren a ustedes mismos, siempre va a ser mayúscula. All the time, always. Esa es una regla, no sé si se han fijado en las okay. en los letras donde es I love you, siempre el I es capital letter. Como respeto por I ustedes try. mismos. Yes? I have a pain in my ears from wearing my mask, I feel terrible, I have a... A very terrible cold. I have the flu. I am sad. My soul is bad. I am being always the funny. Okay. I have an earache. I feel very bad. I feel a uh, pain in my arm. I have a, a pain on my hips. I have a headache. I feel terrible. I feel sad. My sister has a stomachache. I feel terrible. I have a uh, oh my. I have a pain on my chest. Probably. Oh, I hurt my chest. Me lastimé. Me, me, no sé, me aruñé, me, me sangré. That, that would be, I, I hurt my chest. All right. Okay, perfect. Nice. Hoy no va a haber homework. Todo feliz. I feel happy. <laughs> no homework. No, sigamos estudiando en completed platform. Yes. Sure. Excuse yes. me, uh, I okay. have a question. Mm -hmm. The platform. Yes, tell me. Este, hay una pregunta que no la puedo responder. ¿Puede tomar el screenshot y mandarlo al, al grupo? Ah, sí, es uh -huh. 1.11 donde el going to, pero está en negativo. Uh -huh. Ya le puse en varias y no me agarro. Sí, mándenos el screenshot al, al grupo y voy a tratar de revisarlo. Please. Ok, thank you. All right. Ok, somebody else? No. Okay, great. This is it. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Rest. Recharge Thank your you. battery. Good night, everybody. Good See you tomorrow. Night. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless yeah, you. Bless me. Yes. Yeah. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow.